What's going on guys? Welcome to your next Facebook uh, tutorial. What we're going to get into is creating a simple login button where it launches our application, asks the user if they want to allow this application to run, all that great stuff. So that's kind of how it's going to work. So let's jump into it. Uh, what we're going to do first is kind of set up our um, application ID with, with Eclipse. And you're like, what? We already did that. That's I thought we were done with that stuff. Well, it's pretty simple. We just have to go into our apps folder here and then go to our, to our specific app that we're developing for, app testing, and copy this app ID right here. Um, again, I blocked mine out, but just copy this, and that's all we'll need. You can close your developer um, or your browser or whatever. And then we're going to go back into Eclipse, and we're going to go into our values folder, which is in our resources. Click string and hit add. Uh, it's going to be a string reference and we're going to label this all uppercase app underscore ID and paste in or type out your app ID number. I'm going to clip the video and uh, paste mine, save this, and then we're going to get into um, something else. So, All right, so now what we're going to do also is access some of the photos because if any of you guys know me or have watched any of my other tutorials, I'm a terrible graphic, <laughs> graphic artist. So we're going to go back to where we downloaded the SDK. Um, for Facebook. So locate that folder and just open it up. Go into the examples and we're going to click this simple example. Uh, go into the resource folder and click this drawable folder. We aren't going to grab the icon. We don't need that. But everything else we're just going to um, borrow for our application. So just grab those, copy them, and then go into our drawable, uh, the high definition, and just hit control V, paste them in there. Uh, these XML files are for like custom buttons or custom uh, views basically it's just handling the the click button um, and uh, setting the different states of our custom button that we're setting up so nothing too important um you know if if that confuses you uh, again you can check out some simple android tutorials for like custom views or custom um, image views custom buttons uh, and check that out look how the xml works now that we have all of our resources set up, we want to create our XML file that we want to use for our activity. So let's go into our main uh, XML file. This is the file that will be loaded up just by default, obviously, if you guys have developed apps before. And let's just create a new image view um, or image button, whatever you guys want to choose. I'm going to do an image view, and we're going to just set this bad boy up to Android ID equals um, app plus ID. And we'll just call this login Android width layout width uh, will be set to wrap content and also the Android layout height will be wrap content so and we also need to add the source this will well, this will link it up to the XML code that we got set up over here within that example that we uh, borrowed our information from and we're just gonna say uh, source this is going to be equal to our drawable folder and then we're just going to say login button um, or whatever our XML is labeled for login button and then we're just going to do a forward slash less sand sign that will be our first image for a button um, so let's copy this and paste it and we're also going to create an image for our profile pic we're going to you know pull the information from the person's profile picture eventually um, the only thing that we're going to change here is we're going to add a visibility. So we're going to set visibility uh, to um, invisible. And for source, we don't actually need a source uh, for that. All right, so let's save this. Make sure we don't have any errors. Looks pretty simple. Um, so that looks pretty good. Let's go into our starting place class. This is, uh, again, our main activity. And what we need to do is we need to get that uh, that ID that we saved within our strings or values uh, of our strings resource. Now you guys could have just typed out a string variable um, app ID and then set this equal to whatever you guys you know your app ID is here um, but again just to kind of keep my more confidential since I'm making the video and I uh, don't want some people to have access to that um, I'm just going to reference it from my strings variable that I set up. So we're going to say git string um, r dot uh, strings or string dot app ID, and that's going to be our app ID. Obviously, just what we copied into our strings reference. The next thing that we need to do is we're going to set up a new Facebook variable, 
or we, we can do this because again we attached the Facebook uh, information to our build or to our library of this application um, we're gonna create a Facebook variable call it Facebook or FB and we're gonna set this equal to be a new Facebook object Facebook and we need to pass in our app ID so again we're just gonna refer to that string variable we just set up alright and then we have to add our imports you can do that with control shift O and that will add our Facebook import uh, the next thing that we want to do is set up our image view. So we're going to say image view. Um, we'll say pick and button. So we have two different uh, image views: one for the login button, one for the picture. And we're going to set up our references. So it's going to be image view find view by dr dot id dot login for our button, and also for our image view pick, we're going to set this equal to a new image uh, view. And if you guys are curious how I'm getting that, um, you know, this helper to come up, it's just hit control space and it'll either finish the word for you or give you a little helper menu like this. Um, so that's just kind of a quick tip. And there we go, we have our references set up. We want to add an on click listener to our button. So we're going to say set on click listener uh, this. And again, all this stuff is kind of the basics of Android. If you guys are confused, you can check out mybringback.com and uh, get kind of the basics of Android development. So I'm kind of moving a little bit quickly here, but we haven't actually integrated any Facebook stuff yet. So um, I've just referred to this, which uh, means we have to implement the on-click listener for activity and add the unimplemented methods. Uh, so this click method is now attached to our button. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna see if a session is available, okay? Set up our button with the if statement, and we're gonna refer to our Facebook object that we set up uh, now it's not connected to Facebook yet so we can't actually um, well don't worry about that We're, there's one method within the Facebook object is is session valid that means are we logged in to our Facebook account with our app already or is it not logged in essentially so if it's logged in it's true and what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow our button to um, our button will close uh, our session okay uh, we aren't getting into coding, I'm just giving some um, some comments here. So we're going to say log out uh, of Facebook. That's what we want to happen within this if statement. So else, what's going to happen is our session is not valid, so we're going to log into Facebook. Okay. Uh, again, we aren't coding yet. Uh, I'm just getting everything set up, and in the next tutorial, we'll kind of go into the coding and making uh, this stuff happen. Uh, what we're also going to do within our onClick method is create a method that updates what uh, our button should look like at the moment. So we're going to create a new method called um, update uh, button image or something like that. So we're like, well, that's not a method. So we're going to have to create this method. And within this method, again, we're going to refer to that Facebook session or that Facebook object, and we're going to say, is session valid? And if it is, we're going to refer to our button that we set up. And we're going to set uh, the image resource to be our r dot drawable. We're going to set our image resource to be our logout button. Oops. Let's see. Um, logout underscore button. Again, this is the XML file that will handle what the graphic should look like uh, for our logout button. All right. So if we're logged into Facebook, obviously we want to display the logout button. But if we're not logged into Facebook, again, the else statement, we're going to refer to our button and set the image resource back to be our login button uh, because we want to allow the person to log into Facebook. So we're just kind of working with the graphics as of right now, getting things set up for our sessions. And we're going to save that. And now when we create or when our application started, it's going to go call this uh, update image button. Our Im update image button is going to be like, okay, is our Facebook session valid? If it is, show the logout button. If it's not valid, show the log, whoops, that's supposed to be log in button. I'm sorry. So uh, show the log in button. Let's just run it to make sure uh, it kind of looks all right. And it should display our log all right, and it looks like our application crashed because uh, we initiated this get string from uh, not within uh, our onCreate method. So what we're going to do quickly is just cut this out and 
um, paste it within our onCreate method. Blower set to set content view and uh, like I said I, I don't usually use this git string I just throw in the actual app ID here so uh, sorry about that and also let's set this Facebook object to be a global variable or variable our whole class can access so we're just gonna say Facebook Facebook or FB and then delete there so now we should be good and let's just save this run it make sure it works now and we have our Facebook button with the two states um, clicked and unclicked. Uh, obviously, it doesn't change into the Facebook logout button until we actually log into Facebook. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, make sure you check out the next one. It's going to be awesome, and we'll see you then.